Hey, I'm Rob. Thanks for checking out my video today. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Champion Lecky Woozy. This is a lo-fi modulated tape delay pedal. So let's go do an unboxing and uh, then do some sound demos. Alright, so here we are with uh, the Champion Lecky Woozy. The Woozy. This is how the box is. I haven't opened this yet. I have some handwriting uh, on the box. I'm guessing uh, this is the WZ for Woozy, maybe the serial number, This, or maybe this might be the number of that was in this particular print. Blue, or B, I'm guessing for blue, because that's the one I got. And then the Woozy. So let's go ahead and open her up. Nice little box. Oh, we got some stuff. We got a little, uh, like a quick, a quick, uh, a quick manual. Just kind of shows you quickly what everything is. And... Ooh, a handwritten note. Dear Rob, many thanks for buying a woozy. I hope it finds you well and brings you so much wibbly wobbly joy. That's really sweet. Stay safe and stay sane. All the best. That's great. I love it. All right. What do we got? Oh, we got a little thing. What's this? Oh, it's like a little like key tag kind of thing. That's cool. Here's the pedal itself. Oh, oh, we got... Hold on a second. That's a really cool bag, too. I'm going to come back to that in a minute. We got some stickers, it looks like, and a big old guitar pick. So let's just move the box out of the way for now. So we got uh, one of these really nice wide guitar picks. That's cool. I, I, really, I really like their aesthetic, too. That's really cool. We got, this is a, a, a nice, really heavy-duty sticker. I think this is like one that goes on like a... You can put this on a car or something. This is like a really... This is no BS thing. Another sticker, same thing, same quality. No, no, this is like a good quality sticker. And another stick. Oh no, no, a magnet, like a refrigerator magnet. Cool. I like that. <clears throat> All right, so let's actually go ahead and open up the actual. All right, so this bag is really cool. I really love that artwork. I wonder if that is. I don't know if that's hand done. Like I, I don't know. Whatever. It, it doesn't look like it, but I, 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 I can't tell. But it's cool. I mean, that's really cool. I dig that a lot. It's one of the things I really like about this company too is not just the sound. The sound on these pedals is fantastic, but the aesthetic uh, that they use for their artwork is so cool. And as somebody who does art on pedals myself, I really appreciate about these guys. This is really pretty. This is no BS like pedal. Like I have one here that I'm painting that's almost the same size enclosure, and it is, yeah, this is, this is, this is legit. Nope, they know what they're doing. All the knobs feel nice and, and tight. There's no, there's no give in any of the pots, it feels like, or any of the knobs. The triggers feel great. Or the foot switches, I should say. That feels great. Everything's nice and tight. It's great. Cool. So that is everything you get with the Champion Lecky Woozy. I'm assuming the same would be the same for the Skitter and for the... Uh, there's another one that they put out and I don't remember what it is right now, but the Skitter is like a really cool, like a tremolo unit, and it's it's really cool, and that might be another one on the list. So, all right, let's plug it in and uh, see what it sounds like. So, a little about my setup here. Uh, I am playing Squire Affinity Telly. Be a rundown of everything that's on the board. I go from the telly to the little alligator here. Boss CS3 compression sustainer into a TC Spark, into a TC Polytune 3, into an EHX Freeze, into a Green Russian clone, into a old uh, Blood Noise Dark Star, into a Corona T a TC Corona, into a uh, DMM, into an Avalanche Run into a Canyon, into a Moore A7, into the Woozy, which is the new one today. Actually, technically the Avalanche Run is the new one as well today, but today we're doing the Woozy. Into an Echoes, into a TC Ditto X4, then into an Interface, and then from the Interface to two amplifiers, an Orange uh, Crush 20RT, and an Art a Harkey HD50 bass amp. Yeah, so right now we're going to play around with the Woozy and see what we get out of it. Uh, it's got some really interesting controls here from the company. So we're going to kind of play around with those while we play around with this. Uh, I'm going to turn on the spark uh, and the uh, compression sustainer as my kind of boost tone. So 
so it does some really wacky stuff. It's um, it's got a bit of a tape, or it's got a bit of a, 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 a delay on it. Oh, that's what it is. It's a a lo-fi modulation and warped tape echo. So you can do some pretty sweet stuff with it. This is a low-pass filter switch. This dial here uh, dials in the LFO waveforms, uh, and it goes pretty wacky. It, it can get pretty, pretty crazy. Gets, that can get really wacky. That can get really wacky really fast, depending on the waveform that you're using. Uh, it also has a tap tempo, uh, so I could actually just... and a shimmer. Let's see what happens when I dime that in. Ooh. If we combine that with the echoes, the echoes has got also a kind of a lo-fi tape modulation thing as well. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Uh, let's see. Let's play with the. Oh, so that's the volume. You know what? Let's let's screw it. Let's max dime everything in. Let's see what this thing sounds like. Ooh. Oh, it's okay. So this is the mix. So the cheer is your modulated signal blend. But if you dime it in, it's almost kind of got a pre-delay thing going on. Almost. You can get some really chaotic sounds out of this. Dial everything back to noon. I'm gonna kind of jam out here for a minute and kind of drone on and see what I can get out of it. 
Okay. Sweet. This thing's this thing's got some power to it.
some dirt at it. That can, that can get really nasty, I think. I think a lot of people could have some fun with that. Anyway, that's the Champion Lucky Woozy. I absolutely love this pedal. This pedal is so cool. Absolutely really cool. I'm so glad I got it. It might change position on the board. So I don't know if I want to keep the modulation, you know, after all these, these tone chains, or if I want to put it, like, before the chorus chain, or so. I'm not even sure yet. So uh, I will figure that out eventually, and uh, yeah. So I hope you had a good time listening to this thing and listening to me noodle around. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, that was the Champion Lecky Woozy. This pedal is uh, going to be really, really cool. Um, I feel like if anybody is into any kind of noise stuff, ambient stuff, anything lo-fi, I can't wait to throw a synth through this. It would sound really cool. Maybe even my granular sampler, I can't wait to throw through this. But this has definitely got a space on my board, and I don't think it's going to leave it for quite some time. So check them out. They do small runs. They're right here in the United States, made right in Philly. They just, uh, as of this is, what, November 6th? This, uh, they just had a run. I mean, their pre-order for like $1.99. They're not bad at all. Uh, there's a red one, there's a blue one, I got the blue one, the red one's kind of cool looking too. But yeah, definitely go check it out, you'll absolutely love it.